G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Easter Monday. I love this game, Parramatta and the West Tigers. We often share the home field advantage and today it's the West Tigers claiming the home field advantage. Now the West Tigers, they pick up their first win of the season last week against the Newcastle Knights. It wasn't too convincing for me, so it'll be a big test for this, uh, this team, but this is a team a lot of people had around the bottom four. I've still got them there. A lot of people now saying that the Tigers could push towards the eight and they put in a good performance. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what we see from this side. It's going to be a huge crowd. The fact that these two teams are playing on a public holiday, the Easter show is on the Sydney Royal Easter show as well um, at ANZ Stadium. It's going to be a fantastic day. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think Parramatta will win. I'm taking Parramatta to win 34 points to 14. I think the first try scorer will be Mike Acevo. I think Ryan Madison coming back into the squad will bolster us a lot. And that is why I think he'll score a double against his old club. Taking Parramatta 34 to 14. It's a 20 point win. But I do think the Tigers will put in a bit of a fight today. But we'll have to wait and see. And uh, Parra's going to win. Defense here, Tigers going to that right edge. Four tackles gone, they're holding them out, doing a good job. But Junior Paulo, obviously that Virgo and Paulo to blame, but here we go, we've got Alex Kyle, nice well, good run. Gonna be fifth. Can we hold him out? Gotta hold him out. Show that goal line defense they go. Tackle, tackle, Dane, Laurie tackle, handover. Good stuff from Parra. Good early side. Oh the Tigers getting offload here. Passing the ball around, still second tackle, and only 10 metres out. 10 minutes gone, still nil-nil, but uh, you know, like uh, the Tigers, they've started this game quite well. Oh, oh, what a cut out. Not that one though. Get him out! And Virgo tries to drag him out, he's going to give away a penalty if he tries to do that, so I don't want to see any more of that. Really don't want to see any more of that. Brooks thought about kicking it. Fourth, Tamo, offloads, oh, yeah. McKayley. Oh, big hit from Junior. Final play. Set restart brings a bit of momentum here. Nice run from Dylan Brown. Big step up. We haven't seen it yet. Power up! We're not in Bankwest, but the following has come. I love it. 15 metres out, Marty plays the ball, goes to Dylan Brown. He's going to put him in a really nice pass. He's going to go to Moses. What are they going to do? You're Bobby Lee! Bobby Lee! Oh, go Bobby Lee! Oh, nice run there. Good stuff. Fourth tackle here to go, Moses. Moses goes out to see No, he doesn't. Goes himself. He loves scoring tries against his old team. Moses through the middle. Oh, still going. Moses, still going. Puts in a kick. Right in here. Oh, that's a set restart. Good, good time, Brownie. Nice run. So Murata with the first try. Parramatta lead 6 0. 18 minutes gone in the match. Here we go. Here we go. We've got Tom on the deck. Almost. It, it looked tied, but I'll, I'll let him get away with it there. We'll, we'll, we'll go on. Gutherson, Moses. I mentioned Moses. Keep your eye on him. Love scoring tries against the West Tigers, I tell you. So we've got here Murata. Decent seats. Go, Brownie. Nathan Brown, Go, Brown. dummy. Dummy, offload it, offload it to Paulo. Gets it to Brown. There might be a try for Fergo here. Stepping. Oh, what is he doing? What are you doing, boy? Fourth tackle. Can they go out to Sebo? No, they choose to go back to the middle. There's no structure here. Is, uh, oh, Junior. Bends off one. Gets an offload away. Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown. Oh, my God, it's fifth. Marty, still on it. Papa Lee! Papa Lee! Quick in! Yeah! Yeah, Papa Lee! Isaiah! Papa Lee! But. 
I've mentioned how good his form is week in, week out, but Rocket Campbell Gillard just getting downfield nicely. It's only fourth here, and we've made about 70 metres, so really good effort. Brown's going to be tackled, that's going to be fifth. Go for a kick, right? 10 points to nil, 18 minutes to go right in the first half. I right like the, the start. There's been some errors. Is there chases here? There's chases! Oh, nicely taken by David Nofaluma. So fourth tackle here. Decent metres again. Tigers just haven't seen enough yet to compete with us. Sebo might score here. Sebo! Oh! Oh, he won't. So that's going to be fifth. It's going to be a penalty, actually. So he could take the two and be up 12 hill. So we're going to go for a try. We're going to take the tap. We're not going to go for the two. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how we go. See how the boys go. Pushing up his money, gets it to Brown. He's been great. Oh, well, there are numbers here. Dylan, shut down though. I think it's 12. It is 12. It's Luciana with him. Hey, Paulo! Oh, Paulo almost knocks it on, forcing it over. Held up though. Third tackle. Go yourself, Marnie. And we've got Moses to Papali'i. Can he get a double? Isaiah Papali'i, powering so close to the line once again. Go left. Extremely powerful. Oh, oh, he might have got he might have got some talk on this. This could be a try. And it will be a try. Tom Upacek has got his first try in Parramatta Eels colours for the season. How good. He was denied last week, but now Upacek is on the board. Wallies have been dropped and it might lead to a David Nopaluma try. He's gonna be held out. Well, Parramatta's got the ball. Uh, oh, who's gonna? Is this gonna be play on? Yeah, play on. Or not, play no. on. So Tigers play with play the ball, play. but they've lost about 20 meters off a Gutherson drop. Eight, it's 16 nil. Still good. 10 minutes left in the first half. Tigers fans are getting behind them right now. They're getting behind them. Luciani Lua can't offload. Shut down. Early days for Tigers. Early days for Tigers. Brooks. Luciana's offside. They can't go to him. Oh, good one on one tackle. Who was that? Great tackle. It's Murata. First try scorer of the game. Brooks. Someone's got the ball, and I can't tell who it is. So I'm just going to say the Tigers got the ball. That's going to be fifth. They're down 16 nil. Can they hit here? A kick is put in. Oh, there's numbers. Yes, they will. Laurie's fired. Laurie! Called it. Dane Laurie. Tigers head downfield. Luke Brooks gets it to Tommy. Four tackles gone. Nathan Brown looks hurt, so we'll keep our eyes on this one. A lot of injuries again this round. Very uh, unfortunate for the players. 16 4. Five minutes left in the first half. Do we push in a kick? They're targeting Ferguson. Hey! And the Tigers score. That was a fucking brilliant play. Alright, so it is half time. I did miss the final try. So, Harry, can you remind me who scored the final try of the first half? Was it, uh, was it Tommy Opacek? I think Tommy Opacek. So I went to go and get some water. I missed it. What do you think of the performance so far? Good and bad. Good. Yeah, Ferguson dropped it pretty bad. But who's been your, your key player? Who's been the, the man so far that stepped up for Paramount? I believe you. He's been great, eh? We got Yusuf here, so we, we tried to check with Harry. Opacek was the final try scorer in the first half. So Parramatta currently leads 20 to 10. Yes, 20 to 10 at half time. What do you think? Who's been the MVP? Yeah, he has been good. He has had a good game, Opacek. Oh, he's got a double now. He was denied last week. He's just, his kicking game's been good. Nathan Brown, for me, has been really good. But I've got to agree with Isaiah Papalini. He uh, comes into that starting side for Madison. Yeah. How big of a horse for Madison? You think we can go on with it in the second half? So we've got Dylan here. We're getting a West Tigers fan's perspective. Now, Ryan Madison, former Tiger, obviously ruled out of the match early on. 
Parramatta on top. Where can the Tigers win it in the second half? The more Fergo, Fergo drops the ball, the more tries that the West Tigers score. What's your score prediction for the second half? 26 to 16. 26 to 16 Eels. Oh. So a 10 point lead, and like I said, let's make it 20. A 20 point win over the West Tigers. They've turned up, they've played some good footy, but we've been better, and we're going to come out on top in this one. Well, if you've watched the highlights, you've seen that Ferguson has dropped the ball all game, and he just took a good catch. So, uh, heading back to the seat for the second half, but like what I've seen, start from Virgo, second half, but let's not speak too soon. We're back in the seat, back straight in the seat. We had some good chats with people, so thank you for jumping on at half time. Paramount is straight on the attack here. Oh. Straight on the attack towards Ferguson. Murata pushes forward. I'm getting sweaty, man. It's, uh, it's, it's cooled down, but I'm getting sweaty. I did a lot of walking. Uh, during half time, and I'm looking forward to having a bite. But first, I think we're going to score a try. I, I think we're going to do it. We're up 20 to 10. Marnie goes right. We're going towards Ferguson. Ferguson puts the ball. Yeah! On the try line. That's where he puts it. Fergo's in. Came out of lead. 24 points to 10. Oh, fourth for the Tigers. Trying to get an offload away. Thomas McKayley can't get it though. I'm out of defending nicely here, 15 metres out. There's a kick. There is a chase from Tommy Talao. And the Tigers come up with it, but... Oh, no, it is offloaded. Oh, it's knocked back by Leilua. And by... Oh, not bad here from the Tigers. Not bad here from the Tigers. Dewey, Roberts, Jimmy the Jet, passes and... Come at it. Oh, it's going to be a dropout. Three tackles gone for the West Tigers here. It's 24 to 10. There's 28 minutes on the clock. Plenty of time for the West Tigers to strike. Good run there. A good run there. I like what I've seen of Jimmy. James Roberts. Oh, this is I said that. Oh, yes, an error from the Tigers with Moses the ball. Pulls out the 40-20, baby. Let's go. Para! Reedy with the 40-20. Straight back on the attack with Gutherson. Oh, the ball bounces. Knocked on. Good run from Junior Paulo. Ah. Off the Tigers era, we've got the ball back. 24-10, 22 minutes to go. Oh, Brown. Good step about him. Third tackle here. West Tigers 17 offloads to 7. The stats tell a different story to what's happening here. Completion rate at 90% for the West Tigers currently as well. Fourth tackle here. Marnie. Short ball. Campbell offload, Gillardi offload, can't offload, offload it. Or can he? Um, no. He can't offload it. A little bit frustrating there. Marnie. Oh, the Ferguson could get a double. Oh, what was that? Well, here we are in the captain's challenge. Junior Paulo. I think he's lost the ball fairly. He's challenged it. Unless that arm comes Two down. Two in the tackle. Not much to see so far. It's just a drop. He's lost it. I don't know why. There's no intent to strip my boat. Don't boo. Oh, the Tigers, Go Lucci, Lucci. Luciani, oh. I'm on bar. 24, 10, 17 on the clock. Definitely enough time for the Tigers. Oh, yeah, we're going that way. Oh, oh, almost yeah. dropped ball, yeah. Stefano. Yeah. Tackle, yeah. he's already scored a try. Is it off and Gowie? Yeah. Ball played, they're trying to go for six again. If Roberts gets it. Go power off! Yeah, sit down! <laughs> Just had a kid. Go power off! Getting nervous. Getting nervous. There's a few errors from Para here. Oh, Tigers. Defense, defense, defense. Oh. Nice. Get back there! Get back 
there. He's going to listen now. 24 plays, 16, 12 minutes on the clock. Tigers on the attack. Dewey, he scored a try that made it closer than ever. Jimmy Roberts, Jimmy has been, he's had a really good game. May not have scored a try, but James Roberts, I, I, I give credit to. Fifth to last year, 12 minutes on the clock. Brooks is going to put a kick in. Can we get it in goal? Oh, Fergo's going for it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. the last. They're going for a run play. They're going for a kick. Gutherson. Gutherson goes up with it. He's got it. Big play that with 10 minutes on the clock. Jacob Little. He's scoring tries left, right and center. I'm worried. I'm actually worried. What is going on here? What a great try. 29,000 is the largest given to the jury in 2021 NRL season so far. Biggest crowd in NRL. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Oh, he's in space. He's in space. Gutherson. 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 He might get through. He might get through. He passes it. Oh, it's not back. It's not back. It's okay. Fourth tackle, four minutes on the clock. Parramatta 24, West goal. Tigers 22. Fucking run it straight for him. Oh. Moses just, I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what he's doing running in the circle. Get out of it. Would you be going for field goal on fifth here? Kicks it, grubbers. West Tigers come up with it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Parramatta touch that. Parramatta touch that. It's going to be Tigers ball. Oh, my God. I genuinely don't know if we're going to win this game. There's no change of game or hand down there. It's not a challenge. Yeah, the challenge is unsuccessful. They're lucky. They're lucky. Very lucky call there. Very, very lucky call. So we're going to... Oh, we're going to get the ball. We're going to get the ball. Three minutes to go. Two-point game. Oh, there is space. Gutho puts in a kick. Ferguson. Oh, oh. There's two minutes. There's a try! Moses to make ball. it 30 to 22. Two minutes 30 on the clock. For the West Tigers, they definitely could get the ball back. The captain of our club has scored a match winner. And... I'll smile, you fucking crazy cunt! Has... Where's he kicking? Is he kicking yet? I need to jump on the field. He's still lining up. Oh, Two minutes 30 on the clock. Yeah. Just what I feared. The Tigers with the ball back from the kickoff. Parramatta 30. Tigers 22. So it is an eight point game. It's not a six point, but still, plenty of time on the clock. We've seen. He's lost it. He's lost it. He's lost it. I spoke too soon. 39 seconds on the clock. Fourth tackle. Just going to though. slow it down here. Marnie. They look flat. Be nice to see another try. Yeah, but I definitely don't think the Parramatta deserve to win 13 plus based on the game. Fifth tackle here. What are they going to do for fifth? What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to pass it. We're going to chase. We're going to chip. We're going to chip. And the Tigers come up with the ball. And they're going to be tackled. Seven, seven, six, five, four, three. He is 
not happy. Oh, he's giving a clap. Good, good sportsmanship there, actually. Change of heart. Here in Stadium, Australia. Yeah, baby. That's a win. Victorious. 36-22. Definitely not reflective in the, uh, the score, but uh, very happy. Let's see if the boys... Uh, this bubble is pissing me off. Reed Marnie. Obviously, COVID makes it hard, but the players come around. Reed Marnie individually makes sure he doesn't miss a spot. Yeah, Reed on! On your Reedy! So, full time, and it is 36 22 to the Parramatta Eel. In my opinion, it's not a reflection of the game, the score, but we've seen that a lot in NRL. We saw uh, Josh Morris with a late try. The Roosters definitely not deserving that game to be a 1-12. to And I would say the same thing here. I think the Tigers put in a fight. I think errors... Parramatta made more errors than the Tigers, but Tigers' errors let them down. They definitely could have won this game if Luciani Le Lua didn't make an error in the ninth minute. I think it was a game-changing moment, but in the end, Parramatta were too good. I thought Isaiah Papalihi was great. Gutherson, his captain's skills were great. The kicking of Mitch Moses was decent, but I really, and I say this every week, I need Dylan Brown to step up. Reed Marnie as a nine has showed me that he can kick a ball, and I need to see the same for Dylan Brown. We'll get the opinion of Josh from the Tigers. Josh, are you impressed with the Tigers' performance? Um, I reckon they did all right. I wasn't expecting them to get as many tries. Um, um, it's a good yeah, it's <laughs> ending, or definitely for the Tigers. Um, not much. Really do about it at the end of the day, but um, it's a shame the last 0.1 second uh, and getting that last try. That um, last try. Yeah, okay. Congrats to them, they played hard and well. So, well, well I love it. Thanks, mate. And we'll get Tom's opinion. Tom's obviously a Parramatta fan. You guys have seen him on the channel before. Let's try, baby. Who, uh, who for you is the MVP tonight? Mm. You can't say Ferguson. He no, scores a hat trick, go. drops the ball. He couldn't catch a fish tonight. I don't know. They're all. all who do you reckon? I think it's up there with Isaiah Papalihi. Yeah, he rocked uh, up. He was good. I yeah, didn't expect I him to get over, but he got over and it was a... I think Murata near Corey deserves a bit of credit too. I think Murata going into that centre position, he's now had three games there, and we've seen just how good he is. It's going to... It. Is it going to force Wonger out of sight? Possibly. He isn't the best uh, when he comes into the side. Yeah. He rushes forward too quick, and then that's where they score for most... When the opportunity... Opposition scores from there. So big game next week. We've got the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Three straight wins. Everybody predicted them, including me, Wooden Spoon, but they're proving everyone wrong. They've got speed all over the park. Where do we win that game? I can be a close game. I can we win either by two, or Ooh. there might be a cheeky field goal in there. Oh, I like that, it. It was a good game. Let's chop, baby. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love coming to the Easter Monday game, so I will continue to come. Um, but the next game I'll be attending, as I said, is the Parramatta Eel and the St. George Illawarra Dragons. There's a chance you could see a vlog on Friday night between the Manly Seagulls and the New Zealand Warriors. But that's it from me. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys later.